Hey guys, it's AO. I've just finished my seven day fast. Actually, I finished it about five days ago. Sorry, this video is taking so long to record, but here it is. Let's get straight into it. This is a summary, a breakdown of what happened to me and what I've discovered about myself since finishing this seven day fast. Let's go. So the first thing I've noticed is the amount of time I spent eating. I did not realize at all the amount of wasted time I spent eating. It was literally hours. And when I couldn't eat, I couldn't do anything. I was bored, I was unproductive, and I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I, have, I had no idea why I felt the way I did when I wasn't eating, when I couldn't eat, because there was literally nothing to do. So I was really bored throughout this whole seven day. I was really bored. And it's just highlighted, highlighted to me that a lot of us, or I would just speak for myself, I spent a lot of time eating and I didn't really understand the amount of time it took away from the most important thing I, I should be doing like focusing on my business or focusing on my coaching and my charity unbelievable so try do a seven day fast or two day fast one day fast whatever and try to notice try to notice how bored you are and if you find yourself really really bored and unproductive that's because you spent far too long eating. The next thing, back pain. I had a severe back injury back in 2011 at university or 2010. I was doing a deadlift, a lot of ego, lifting 210 kg. <laughs> Hurt my back. And my back has never ever been the same since. I've done physiotherapy, I've done a bit of acupuncture, I've done um, sports massages but nothing really helped so I've always had a pain threshold of about three in that back a dull ache it's always been there for the past 10 years eight years now and one when when I started with water fast and I got to day three the pain went from a three to a ten I could not get out of bed I could not move it was like the water fast was targeting was hitting that that pain point in my back and doing something there it was, it was doing something there because it was a three and that was a ten. I thought the water fast would heal it. So I did some research and what I found was when your body's when your body is not busy digesting food for a certain period of time, it has enough time, enough energy to go fix your body, go heal the areas that needs to be healed. But because we spent so much time eating, we never gave our body a break to go fix old injuries, old issues, old problems within our body. And that's what I think, that's what I know my body did. It was healing, it healed my back for the most part. By the time I got to day three, like I said, I was couldn't walk, couldn't get out of bed. By the time I got to day five, the pain went from a 10 to a seven. By the time I got to day six, it went from a seven to a three, back to the way it was. When I got to day seven, the day I broke my fast, my, my pain was about a two. And I know, if I had carried on, if I had carried on another week, my back issue may have been healed, but I only planned to do seven days and my mind was telling me, hey, oh, you missed food, you missed the taste of food. You're not hungry, but you missed the taste of food. So I had to bake my fast and I've committed myself to doing a 14 day fast sometime in the future. <laughs> not decided when, but I've committed sometime in the future. Let's get on to the next point. Body weakness. I had so much weakness in my body, not tiredness. I wasn't tired, I was weak. I think there's a stark difference. So if you're tired, you've got low energy, you physically don't want to do nothing. But when you're weak, you're just weak. Your, your, your physical muscles are weak. They can't do what they used to do. And that's how I felt. I felt physically weak. And that's obvious because I wasn't eating. So my body was conserving energy, using that same energy for my vital organs and my brain activity and digestive system. So I was just physically weak, physically weak, and I did not enjoy that. But I wasn't tired. I had energy. I had energy, but I was weak. Next point, I'm reading off my iPad, by the way, because I've got a lot of points to cover. Clarity, I had focus and clarity, man. Through this whole seven days, I was just like, bang, bang, bang. I know what I need to do on every day, every day, and I just executed. I was really productive, and that's because I was 
I was so focused and so and had so much clarity. I wasn't eating as much. It was like I was in a different um, dimension, a different. Um, it's hard to explain. I had focus and I had clarity. Next point: <laughs> feeling cold. I was extremely cold during this um, whole process. Maybe what I've heard is because that the body has to conserve energy, and it puts that energy into its vital organs, its, its vital areas where you need to live, and it takes away the energy and the warmth from the extremities, like your fingers and legs, and that's what I, I felt. So next, I wasn't hungry during this fast at all. After day one and a half, day two, the feeling of being hungry just wasn't there anymore. And I noticed it was just my mind saying I was hungry, but I didn't really feel hungry. And by day, and by day seven, I was totally fine as well. No hungry, totally fine. So, not using, not caring what, next one was not caring what people think. Definitely that, that um, mindset of not caring, caring about what people think was definitely enforced. I just did not have the energy to care about what people thought. Not at all. I felt really, really good about myself. Really ap appreciative of who I, who I was and what I was doing. And I could care less, care less about anyone else in those seven days. Even now, I still don't give a damn really. Just be yourself, love yourself. That's the most important thing. I had slightly better speech also during this whole seven days. I noticed my stuttering was not as prevalent, which is cool. Maybe it's because also at the same time, I didn't really care what other people were thinking about me at the time, which is really cool. I was more open-minded. I was way more calm, way more relaxed. Just had a good time this whole seven days. <laughs> and it's also finally made me a vegan. So I'm doing a 30 day plant-based diet and I'm gonna be vegan for seven days. 30 days, sorry. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna see where that takes me. So I hope you got the gist of my seven day fast. I'm gonna commit to a 14 day fast sometime this year or the start of next year. And I'm gonna do little vlogs about my vegan journey. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys had a good time listening. You can find me on stopholdingback.org, that's my charity. You can find me on Instagram at al.stopholdingback. And you can find me if you wanna do some business with me as I do Facebook Messenger Bot Marketing which helps people, business owners get more results online, that's what I do. You can reach out to me at oneattheway.co.uk slash discover. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the other side.